it's Rosie from EcoCycle. Today we're talking about why composting is so important. This week's video lesson was made in partnership with our friends from the Denver Compost Challenge, a grassroots effort to encourage more Denver residents to compost. Let's start by talking about what compost is and what it isn't. Compost isn't dirt or soil or mulch. It is a nutrient-rich soil amendment that results from the decomposition of organic matter in the presence of oxygen, which is called aerobic decomposition. Compost, which is produced continuously in natural environments, plays a vital role in the health of ecosystems because it provides nutrients and supports healthy soil structure. Composting also perfectly illustrates the cyclical pattern of nature. We only have to look out the window to find examples. For instance, in the fall, trees drop their leaves to the ground where they decompose. The soil enriched by the decayed leaves supports the tree, other plants, microorganisms, and other forms of life. Nothing is left unused. This cycle in nature can be replicated in communities by taking our leftover organic materials, such as food scraps and yard waste, which are full of nutrients, and returning them to the soil by composting. That soil can then better support healthy plants help grow more nutrient-dense food, and even fight climate change by sequestering carbon from the atmosphere. So how does compost work its magic? Here's Marley from the Denver Compost Challenge to explain. Hi everyone, I'm Marley, and the way that I describe compost in its simplest terms is that compost supports life. There are tiny microorganisms like bacteria, fungi, protozoa, microarthropods, and nematodes that break down organic matter and convert the nutrients into compounds that are beneficial to plants. These microorganisms interact with the plant root system in an amazing balance of life called the soil food web, the community of organisms that enrich soil. Unfortunately, traditional agricultural practices like tilling harms the soil food web, as does the use of herbicides, pesticides, and inorganic fertilizers. Thankfully, applying compost can repair this damage and replace the need for these chemicals by providing vital nutrients and microorganisms, and also by providing the soil with an important structural resource, carbon. One of the largest reservoirs of carbon on our planet is within our soils. Since the Industrial Revolutions, humans have taken carbon from the earth in the form of oil and gas. When we burn fossil fuels, we put that carbon into the atmosphere where it contributes to pollution and climate change. Carbon in our atmosphere contributes to global warming, but carbon in our soils is healthy for the planet. We can use compost to help draw more carbon out of the atmosphere to store it safely in the soil. How? Composted soil is healthy soil, which nourishes healthy plants. Healthy plants then move carbon from the atmosphere back into the earth through photosynthesis. In photosynthesis, Plants absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and deposit it into the soil through their roots, transferring carbon from the atmosphere into the soil. And there's more benefits of compost, including more nutrient-dense soil that produces more nutrient-dense food, better draining soil that requires less water, and increased soil oxygen available for other microorganisms. If humans composted our organic materials instead of sending it to the landfill, we could help regenerate our soils and create a positive feedback loop in which more carbon is in soils and less carbon is in the atmosphere. Knowing how beneficial compost is to soil, food, ecosystems, and climate, you might be surprised to find that nationwide, over 50% of what goes into our landfills can have been composted. Here's Brandon, also from the Denver Compost Challenge, to explain what happens when we don't compost. Thanks, Marley. And hello, everyone. I'm Brandon. Now, we know about the many benefits about composting, but what happens when, instead of composting, organic matter is thrown in the trash? Unlike the circular system that composting promotes, throwing organic materials into a landfill contributes to a linear system, one where we extract resources from our planet in the form of oil or gas, uh, metals, or other organic material, use these resources to produce goods, purchase and then consume those products, and finally throw the wasteful packaging and oftentimes the item themselves into the landfill. When organic matter is thrown into the trash and then taken to a landfill, it is sealed away in an environment that does not allow any oxygen in. Here, food and yard waste decay without the presence of oxygen, 
in a process known as anaerobic decomposition. This process releases gaseous byproducts like hydrogen sulfide and ammonia and methane. Methane is a major contributor to climate change. It can trap 84 times the heat in the atmosphere as carbon dioxide can in a 20 year period. Landfills can also cause many problems with wildlife and people, including contaminating groundwater, aquifers, and soil, attracting wildlife like flies or rats, and destroying local ecosystems. As you can see, a linear economy is a take, make, waste economy. So rather than dumping your banana peels and your grass clippings into the trash bag and sending it along to a landfill, why not try composting? Your yard and the planet will thank you. Thanks Marley, Brandon, and the Denver Compost Challenge. As we can see, composting is one important way we can be better stewards for our communities and the planet. Thankfully, composting options are many and varied, so almost everyone can compost in their own way. We'll talk about the different ways to compost in next week's video. See you then.